Good afternoon, folks. Um, happy Saturday afternoon. At least it is for me when I'm doing this. Uh, we're looking at the review. And like I've asked you a couple other times, don't start watching the videos till you've tried the problems. Um, and maybe just use them to check your answers. Or use them when you get stuck on a problem. But don't start by watching the videos. All right. Uh, I'm going to take a look at a couple here. Number three, uh, they give you a speed in kilometers per hour. Pretty often during the year, we got to convert units. So just quick review of that. Uh, if there's one hour, we can replace that with seconds because our goal is to end up in seconds. And one hour is 3,600 seconds, 60 minutes per hour, 60 seconds per minute. So I just do that in one step, 60 times 60. And that'll take care of the hours. To get rid of kilometers, I can say, well, one kilometer is 1,000 meters. And everything's gone except meters and seconds. So 82 times 1,000 divided by 3,600. Your answer over on the right is what you should be getting. Uh, taking one day all the way to nanoseconds. Let's see what happens here. Okay, this one, we got to work our way there. Uh, well, one day is 24 hours and one hour. Now the hours on the bottom, because I'm trying to get rid of it, is three, oops, sorry, 3,600 seconds. So at least I'm into seconds. And then if I want to go from seconds to nanoseconds, Actually, I'll do it this way. One nanosecond is 10 to the negative ninth seconds, meaning a nanosecond is 0 0.00000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, a whole bunch of zeros, two, two, and then one. Uh, so, one times 24 times 3,600 divided by 10 to the negative ninth. You should expect a really big number out of this because one day is going to be a lot of nanoseconds. All right, that was number three. How about four? You drive four kilometers at 30 kilometers per hour, and then you drive another four kilometers at 50 kilometers per hour. And your first hunch is to say, oh, well, then my average is going to be, your average speed is going to be 40. But it doesn't work out that way. Because you're going to spend a different amount of time doing each. So, average velocity is displacement over time. And we know the displacement for the whole trip is 8 kilometers. And, whoops, we need to figure out that time. So we'll, let's go get T1 here. Uh, if I wanted time, again, rearranging divot for time, it would be distance over velocity. So it will be 4 kilometers divided by 30 kilometers per hour. And when you work that out, and yeah, I haven't worked that out myself. You're gonna get 0.1333 hours. For time two, we're going to do 4 kilometers divided by 50 kilometers per hour. And notice, because you're going a whole lot faster, that time's going to be less. 4 divided by 50 in this case, you get 0.08 hours. Well, that's how much time you spend on this whole trip driving. So 1.33 plus point. Whoops, not point 0.1, I'm sorry. Fix that, point 0.133, which is what I think I said, but I wrote it the wrong way. 
0.1333 plus 0.08 hours. There we go. So you get eight kilometers divided by that sum. And, whoops, 5.133 plus 0.08. You're gonna get 37.5-ish. 0.5, yeah, maybe 0.6 kilometers per hour. And your intuition is still telling you, why isn't it 40? Because you spend a lot more time driving at the slower speed. That dragged your average down. Or, think of it the other way, you spend a lot less time doing the faster speed. So, it ends up, you get an average coming out below 40, um, below the middle of these two, because you spend a lot more time. I need you to think about what the velocity time graph looks like for this. It's not, oh, you started here and then you went up here like this. It's not what this one looks like. This is you spend some time doing that speed and you spend a shorter time doing the other speed. That's what this velocity time graph looks like. Yeah, because you spend more time doing this, that's going to drag your average down. All right, so that's three and four. See ya.